Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode for NYE2. It's the last one of the season. This is it. It's the finale. But well, you know what that means? It means NYE2 is just around the corner. So get ready for the action. And speaking of the action, BRB and Andrew Wright, they have an open challenge. So here's their promo for it. Titan Towers, Andrew Wright, BRB, training hard for NYE2 July 13th, 14th, and 15th. Matter of fact, we just got out of the gym. And we thought to ourselves, with all this hype going on, we throw in a little something of our own. So Ben, why don't you tell him how it is? At NYE last year, the pride of the Northeast won the Trios Tournament Trophy. That coveted trophy. And even with my broken leg, no matter how hard we struggled, we came up with a plan, we executed it to its full potential, and we won, plain and simple, no surprises. But then, blink of an eye, Sky Bynes, Doc Holliday, and David motherfucking Auburn. Go ahead and steal it right from underneath our noses. And we demanded, or we thought we were gonna demand our trophy back. But you know what? Trophy, it's just a thing. Just something you throw on the mantle don't really care about. Just a nice little story. We all know who won. We don't need a trophy to tell us how good we are. Pride of the Northeast. Not only do we have the GBYWN World Champion in Murph, but let's not forget that Benjamin and myself hold the GBYWN Northeast Tag Team titles, which makes us the best tag team in the Northeast. And dare I say, in all of backyard wrestling. And we thought to ourselves, we're not going to get the trophy back, but we might as well prove something. So on NYE Day 1, we're going to prove that we're the best tag team, not once, not twice, but three times. And we are issuing an open challenge to any three tag teams at NYE that want to step up and challenge for our Northeast Tag Team titles. See y'all in a couple weeks. Wow. What teams are going to accept this challenge for a four-corner tag team match? I don't know. I, I just don't know. I can't wait to find out myself. And speaking of finding out, how about you guys find out how to get to the event? Here's Crucible. Hey, everybody. Last year at NYU 1, there was a bit of confusion. So this year, to clear things up, I'm going to just take you to the venue. Video tour of the ve uh, to the venue by Crucible Chris Amber. Now behind me is exit 17. This is the beginning of the end of your journey to NYE. Now, exit 17, Cooperstown. If your GPS tells you to go any other way, just fucking forget it. I'm taking you on a video tour. What's the point of me doing this if you don't go this way? Let's go. All right, gotta wait for the cars though. Sexy and I know it. Alright, here's the deal. In New York State, you can buy beer at a gas station. So, if at this point in the journey you, you just remembered, oh, god damn it, we forgot our 30 rack. This is where you get it. Unless you're uh, fancy Zeke with his fancy beers that you can't buy at gas stations because they're too fancy. What have taste, dick? <laughs> oh. oh, we're home for Alright, 
Here's the second stop on the way to NYE. This is Jackie's. Finest family dining this side of... Don't really matter. Anyway, it's a great place to eat. But just don't show up on Sunday at 11.30 because if you do, Don's gonna break your legs and use your bone shards as toothpicks. So, au revoir. All right, all right, all right. You see that traffic light right there? You see that traffic light? Quiz. Was there any other traffic light on the way here? If you answered yes, then you are the most unobservant bastard in the world. This is the first traffic light you will come to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the wrong way to show you which way not to go. Okay, so here's the deal. This road is Clintonville Road, but unfortunately the bridge that once stood in between the two halves is gone. So if you go down this half, there's a nice lady down there who will be ready and waiting with a shotgun and a very angry barking dog. So, if you prefer to avoid those things, and I sure would, then you will go the way that I suggested. Oh, you could also jump your car, but good fucking luck. Mike Williams, try to jump your fucking car. Alright, we're back at the one fucking traffic light. So, if you miss it, and you go the wrong way, with the barking dog, and the lady with the gun option, feel free. But keep in mind, I'm not gonna be able to walk at NYE if you do that, because I'm gonna have broken both of my feet off in your ass. So, we continue onward. If you'll notice, we just took a left, but if you came from the original direction, you will have taken a right. So, right now we're about five minutes from the venue. Moved all my shit to my parents' basement. All right, all right, all right, class. Now, let me ask you, what are we doing? What are we doing? If you were answering, we just went over a bridge, and now we're turning left, taking the first left. After we go over the bridge, you would be right, because that's the way you go. Don't fuck it up. Life is a mist. All right, cornfield on the left, cornfield on the right. Big sweeping turn ahead. Barn there, barn there, white house ahead. Memorize it, for Christ's fucking sakes. We're turning left. Right here. This is the Clintonville Road you go down. If your GPS tells you to do any different, you tell that bitch to fuck off. And I'm calling it a bitch because I'm pretty sure all GPS voices are women. Guess what? You're about 30 seconds away from the fucking time of your life. So get fucking excited. Woo! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in there it is, folks. The venue for NYE. It'll look a little different when you get here. But... Remember this. Right, left, left. You got it. You're there. So see you at NYE. Losers. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to see everyone there. It's going to be great. Especially the day one main event. Now, we know it's a six-way. And we know David Auburn's in it. We know Jay Two Steps in it. We know that JD Static is in it. But... It's time to announce the final three. And those final three are Marcus Centafonte, MX5, and Brad Rush. See so what I can do with this pedal? Maybe I can take it and I can clobber Russ with it. That's stupid. Russ is cool. Anyway, I got questions for you. Did you know what KKK's favorite way to practice safe sex is? No. Well, no. Pulling out. Wait. KKK has sex? Did you know what KKK's favorite farm activity is? Bailing. Wait, KKK is a farmer? Did you know what KKK's favorite part of dubstep is? Like, no. The drop. Well, since when does KKK mm -hmm. make... What is KKK's favorite part of driving? I, I don't know. Backing out. Like, KKK is old enough to drive? What does KKK do for NYE2? Oh. Not book his plane tickets, and we're about a week and a half away. KKK. Ten days until NYE2 and you haven't booked your flight yet. What kind of retarded shit is that? Well, if KKK doesn't show up, we're obviously going to have to change his matches around. Uh, his opponents 
they, they're not going to be able to get screwed around here. So we're going to we're, we're going to have to do a few uh, changes here. Uh, instead of taking on taking on Matt DeMorris, Matt DeMorris is now going to have to team with uh, G Fatal, and he's going up against the the Awakening, the team of Sick Rick and Robbie Roberts. So now that day one's taken care of, you're going to ask yourself, well, well, he had MX5 day two. What's MX5 going to do on day two? Well, fear not, my friends. He's still going to take on a little man, but a big name in backyard wrestling. And that is Mark Electric. Oh, man. NYE2 is going to, is, it's such a big deal. You know, if I had a co-host, things would just go, just go swimmingly. So you know what I did, ladies and gentlemen, is I put a little ad out on Craigslist to find a co-host. And you wouldn't believe the people that sent in audition tapes just to audition. Check them out. So what brings you to UCW headquarters? Oh, I'll tell you what brings me to UCW headquarters. I got, I can't put some sacks and some weights. You want, you want to work out? Take clothes. I'll lay down on the bench. Come on, let's get, let's get this thing. You like the one that work my abs like you like the world's largest abs? Yeah, come on. You want to kiss that? Come on, go ahead, kiss that. Go ahead, kiss that. Hey, Sean Amora, I'm Jack Diesel, and I think I should be the co-host of NYE. Hey, Sean O'Mara, this is Grizzly Steel from BKW, and I think I should be the host of NYE 2. Hey, I'm going to say some words right now. Uh, the Greg the Hammer, he, he drove me in the car. We drive to the, to the UCW arena, to Rania, to, to do the guest hosting. All right, I want to thank you all for coming in. I know it's late Friday, it's casual Friday, but come on, people, let's at least keep those shirts tucked in. We're still trying to run a business here. Now, there's been talk about me co-hosting New York Explosion with Sean O'Mara. Now, let's talk about it. There has been, over time, a very clear trend correlating my hosting a show to the ratings of said show. It is almost directly proportional, minus this very small dip in the middle, that we're not entirely sure of. We still have our people going back and forth on that. But the basic tenet here is me hosting equals ratings. What? My chart's upside down. Oh no, but I did all this research. I stayed up late. Well, oh okay, great, well back to the drawing board. Let's at least get the chart the right way and see what we're dealing with here. Oh, we're still good. What qualifies me to be the co-host is that, well, number one reason, I'm a Kubish. I'm the grisliest cast member here. I'm from Texas. I'm the first Texan lumberjack in New York State history. I should get that spot. No one else. You want to have a lovely ladies. And you know what? Let me talk to all my freaks out there. You want to come home to a fat ass like Marcus Cinephonic, or do you want to come home being pleasured by a sex machine? A fine, refined sex machine. You know what? I'll tell you what. We'll get to, we'll get with Sean Amora, and I, uh, you, you, you can talk about why I should be the guest host, and I'll be the modifier. Moderator. Shut up! We can be the bed tag team. We got a tag team tag nigga. We got. You know, we we better than everyone. We we got invited. We better than Renegade. We better we better than than Alex Cross. I was governor named Warren. You know, we we I think we should go on NYE because we the better tag team out there, baby. I heard that Sean O'Hara he wanted the marijuana. He wanted the crack. He wanted the whores. I have Beulah on speed dial. I have the I have the the May. I have the May on the speed dial. I have the whores. I have the cocaine. I have the marijuana. I could be co-hosting the the new era bullshittery. I drink beer, specifically Miller High Life. If you didn't know that already, but I'm Grizzly MF motherfucking Steel. Uh. We're about to him out there, baby. You're gonna see that all the UCW's full of fat asses. Nothing but a bunch of fat asses. That does not compute. Baby boy, you don't know what I'm saying, baby boy. I have a major announcement, and everybody knows it's been far too long since an announcement like this has been made on such a, I don't know, a global scale. Everybody knows that my tenure in VCW, uh, pretty historic, okay? And my run in I Suck Sticks, pretty darn successful. You can't argue that. But once again, the powers that be have decided to shelve I Suck Sticks. Therefore, 
Sheldon, this guy, Mercury, collecting dust instead of championship belts. So, what is Mr. Super Show left to do? That's what I was sitting there asking myself last night in that gay little voice, thank you very much. And, well, I don't know, going online, I see over there on the East Coast, there's plenty of wrestling. It's prosperous. There's tons of people I've never heard of. Tons of people who've never heard of me. But they will. So my major announcement is that in two weeks at New York Extravaganza, Mercury has not only sold his Benz, he sold his condo, and he quit his job, but I am moving to New York City, the land of the prosperous, to continue to wrestle, because if we can't wrestle here, well, I got nowhere else to go, because we're obviously never wrestling here again. They're doing what in September? You would make me the co-host! Or I'll fuck you! So, uh, choose carefully, Jack Diesel. I got, you know what, I, there's, this show has a 120% chance of failing, but you see, you take my 45% chance of always succeeding, and you take Sean Moore's 2% chance of being a fat asses, and you take Mark Sinifi's chance of running a 2% good show, you got 142% chance of that show failing, and then you take my 40%, you multiply that by 3, because I'm on a good day right now, I'm on a good run, and I'll drink my 500% good juice, that'll give me about to an 85% of boost chance, and you get me with the show this much caliber, you have 200 34 and 4 third percent chance of this be a successful show. We are the Church of Fudge, and we deserve to host NYE2. The rest of Backyard Wrestling, it's full of heathens and sinners and baby killers and darkies. Amen. And, and we deserve to host Amen. We'll bring purity and the Lord's work to Backyard Wrestling, and that's why we deserve to host it. After all, the Lord did say, Spirit, Lift me up in the air and brought me in divine visions to Jerusalem. That is so relevant, and that's why we deserve the host. Amen. All right. What's up, I66 Multiverse? Danny McCabe right back at you, and I hear through the grapevine that Sean Amore is looking for someone to help him host his show, NYE, in the coming future. So I figure, why not throw my name in the hat? After all, I am the chief executive officer of matchmaking and baked goods here at I Suck Sticks, and really, who has more experience at running shows like this than I do? I'm sure Sean Amore is going to run a great show, but I figured, well, why not? If he's looking for help, I can be the guy to help. So I put in for a reassignment, a uh, transfer, as you were, across the East Coast. And uh, if Sean Amore is looking for someone to help him run New York Extravaganza, New York Eve, New York Explosion, New York uh, Extracurricular, New York Extraterrestrial, New York Empanada, that's a Mexican apple pie. I know you have those guys on the East Coast, we don't really have them here. If you guys need help running NYE, then Daniel Makabe is the guy for the job. Well, uh, that, that's certainly interesting. I'm not sure what to make of, of most of those. So I do have a lot of thinking to do between now and day one of, of NYE 2. And you know what? When that, sh when that show starts, I will reveal my co-host when we open. I went back and I watched all the footage. Not more recent footage because that Marcus Intervante is a joke. He's a clown. But the footage that I went back and watched was the Marcus Intervante of three years ago. And I'm trying to prepare myself hoping that that Marcus Intervante will show up. But you don't know anymore with you, Marcus. You can get angry and yell into the camera saying that you're going to end me at NYE 2. And, you know, it's just not going to... It's not going to be that way. It's not going to go down like that at all. So, with that being said, Marcus, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to hurt you. You have no idea what's coming for you. I'm gonna... What is... What's going on? Why is this getting all staticky? Representing the entire state of Kentucky, <laughs> Joe fucking Rondo! Talk about cocky, he is the epitome of what cocky is. Arrogance, he calls himself the marquee guy. Your new world heavyweight champion! 
champion! He's a new exhibition star around here. Spence here, ladies and gentlemen, covered in blood. The man, the myth, the legend of the CWA. The backbone, the legs, the arms, the head, the neck, the heart. <laughs> Joran. We have it wings, baby. Oh, oh. CWA is there NYE to I end your career. Marcus, you wanna try to play mind games with me? Send me a video highlighting my career with it ending. You beating me. I'm not the type to yell, but all I'm going to say is this, come July 15th, NYE2, career versus career, what I am going to do to you will be On our terms. Think about it. Aw, oh, man. Joe Randa versus Marcus Santafati is going to be one of the most epic matches to ever happen in backyard wrestling. But uh, we do have a developing story from BKW. And uh, we, had, we saw JD Stack get screwed over by the perfection for the BKW title. So, uh, as a result of that, we had, we had JD Stack come to us and personally request a match versus the perfection. So, ladies and gentlemen, at NYE2, for the first time ever at a Super Show, you're going to see JD Static take on the perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you at NYE2. Godspeed until then. Oh, no, Gentlemen's Club's taking a break tonight. I need to know going into this match who you've got my back. You better watch and think before you do something stupid, Perfection, alright? I'm gonna put my rematch clause on the line. Whoa, 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 Cold-blooded, chilly skin Can't touch it like your front wheel when this willy end Wanna see chill free, like free willy friend Wanted to see, free willy really swim I'm super cold, my jacket thin I'm too below, like a marching band It means I'm super deep, you surface skim I'm the whole thing, you niggas two percent Put him up on that cotton, I think I'm losing them Bring all those St. Bernards in, let's get some booze in them You know them dogs with them barrels on they neck And I'ma keep it cool like air holes on the tech And I be moving birds like a scarecrow's on the set Part dope ass nigga, an old man winner Christmas time diamond singing carols on my chest Step up off the jet, looking like a pharaoh in the flesh I'm super cold, 